fuel for thrusters. Is that what you said? Yeah. There's an implosion booster, an explosion booster. Well, is that like a regular and then the booster engine. for a, uh, like a module? Or is it a component that's required to make it? I don't know. I intend to find out eventually. Okay. Probably with a test drone and not this at some point. Okay, almost done with encasing this one. Whew. Finally. Okay, so the main ship is going to have power now. Um without needing anything else attached. It has a flight seat. So the next thing we're going to need to do is finish getting the rest of the thrusters placed so that it can actually fly. Oh, Gilmesh has actually been on for quite a while. Longer than pretty much anybody else that we've seen recently. My next step here is test the micro connector and see if that works. Okay, so you know what? all of this comes off too, so let's go ahead and do that now. Then we can put in the other uh stairwell too. I kind of don't believe it. What? It works. A micro connector? Yeah. And it's like connecting it to what, a standard connects. size connector? Yeah. Like, boom, mind blown. It seems like it's basically taking an entire block like the normal one would. So something to do with the coating is making it just like the, the normal small ship piece. But visually, it takes less room. So instead of just changing the coding, the model is completely different. Which is kind of cool. Makes me happy. Why does it seem like this is out? Ah, oh, yes, it's empty. I am out of steel plates. Production, give me more. Another 1,500, and we will take out all of them. Not quite. But as many as I can carry and make a couple of trips. So what are you mining right now, Parker? Iron. I Iron. almost completely destroyed that asteroid. There's like nothing left of it if you look. Sweet. So it'll no longer be in our way. 
<laughs> were, were we not doing the evil laugh? <laughs> Isn't that what you're supposed to do when you destroy entire worlds? The evil laugh? No, it's not an entire world. It's just an asteroid. It's a whole world. It's a, it's a celestial body unto itself. It's a world. Uh, Mind you, it's an extremely tiny world. It's not a planet, so I don't see how it could qualify as a world. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Hey, I didn't get a harump out of that guy. Nobody? A room out of what guy? Nobody understands me. Okay, why is that thing not welding? I just stuck a bunch of plates in there. Are they all gone? Actually, that reminds me, Parker. I'm here with... The large ship area welder is in... The set of mods we have available. Why aren't we using it? Because it requires a large no, ship. No, I haven't used it yet. Um, have you? I haven't used it. I have used it. It it welds a large area. It's very handy. Um. I'm sure that it does. Well, you guys were just talking about have, having areas that were inaccessible, and I'd say, well, why don't we just use a larger welder? Ooh, what's this? An RCS thruster? Reaction Control System Thruster. Die Drone Remote. Wake bomb launcher? What? Yeah. Wake bomb's vanilla. Really? Yeah. Isn't it? Pretty sure. So. Pretty sure the wake bomb is vanilla. I'm gonna grab a chair and look up. Okay. Yeah, when they get to the EMPs, that's going to be pretty exciting. I'm waiting for environmental effect solar storm. Shit, I'm waiting for the plant. I'm assuming you said planet. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm interested to see how they do the planets. Um, it could be extremely difficult considering how uh, it's going to affect the physics of the world to have uh, it is a mod. bodies that have gravity. What do you mean it's a mod? It is a mod. CSD bomb launcher. Oh, I thought you were talking about planets, dude. No, no, no. I told you I was looking up the wake bomb. Yeah, but uh, Parker and I, we were talking about planet. Well, I he had mentioned planets, and then I was expanding upon that. Okay, for some reason I was thinking the wake bomb was uh, vanilla because I've seen some reviews Oof. on it. It's gone. What? Oh. Yay.
Okay, so uh, that's one asteroid down. Uh, how many more to go? <laughs> Okay, oh man, I didn't do the bottom on that one. So, let's get that next. Should have enough to finish that off. So the wake bomb is essentially a very slow rearward firing missile. Yes. More like a torpedo than a missile. Kind yep. of makes sense. Very interesting. A bomb that you fire in your wake. You fire it behind you and then pop out of its way and then, yeah. Okay. You know what? I'm going to grab uh, an air bottle. Actually, an oxygen bottle. Okay, so next we're going to go this part ah. here. Anyway, have you been able to return yet, Parker? Hey, there you are. Man of a thousand voices lives. Again, am I? There's a random <sighs> armor slope just floating away. Okay, where? Outside the hangar bay here. I'm grinding it down now. Um. Well, hold on. I need to see what and where. You said outside of where? Above the hangar bay. Go up from your current position. Okay. Um just bounced it. Okay, but I don't what know where what it came from? Hold on, what's the name of it? Light armor slope, two by one by one. Yeah. So let's see. It's gonna be somewhere along the front side here. Don't see anything missing. Yeah, I didn't break the bottom on I didn't take any bottoms completely off so I'm not sure where that would go the only place where those blocks are being used is on the front side and they're all still here weird Oh well. Yeah, those those fancy schmancy blocks, those were only used on the front side of this. I mean and some uh well underneath there were some used. But I didn't uh, I wasn't doing any work underneath. Should be yeah, it's these here as well. But these all seem to be in place. Okay, that's just weird. Totally weird. Okay, so uh, where are you going to do this test fire? And Parker, are ah. you coming over? Oh, wow, yeah, that's a nice looking seat. <laughs> that actually looks pretty cool. <laughs> 